Hey, what's up, guys? Been a second since I've put anything up, I know, so I thought I'd do a quick video on uh, some of the things I've been doing over the past few weeks, anyway. And uh, so, first off, I know a lot of people talk about bullion, silver, gold. It is handy to have. I know a lot of people, uh, especially nowadays, they have this assumption like it's something they can't afford. That's actually one of the things I want to talk about for a minute is you can afford it. Anybody can afford bullying. It, for example, and mind you, today's what, the 2nd of May, so what I'm going to say probably won't hold up real well time-wise, but you went into a coin shop right now I think the prices are roughly 250 for a junk silver dime so to speak quarters five and a half and then they go up from there half dollars are a little different because of the years some are 40 percent some are 90 percent silver and even then they've got to be 70 1970 or older point being you can look this stuff up on the internet real easy to know if some of the coins that you have are silver for example quarters dimes here in the US 1964 or older probably 90% silver and then the half dollars are 90% up until 64 40% up until 1970 and then same with silver dollars they can get a bit tricky but especially the older ones, chances are they're 90% silver. And even then, if you were to go to bullion, well, right now, as of the time again of my putting up this video, the prices of silver were down. So maybe not a bad time to look into it for those that are trying to prep a little bit. And I'm also gonna tell you that you don't have to be a prepper to buy bullion, guys. And I'm saying that because, and I was just looking at this the other day, results may vary. But uh, I, I don't remember the exact date, but it was sometime in April of 2020. I bought a 10 gram gold bar for $5.98. If I were to buy that again today, I think it was 663. So in two years, that gold is appreciated 70 bucks. If I would have just taken that 600 bucks and put it under my mattress, that 600 bucks would still just be 600 bucks. So no matter what you're quote unquote prepping for it, bullion is a preparation for the future period not to mention and I've said this to people before I guess to me even the common man having a little bit you know, it's a good thing to pass on so to speak so I, I hope you take that maybe look up your local coin shop and see if you can even just buy it in small increments of dime size pieces of silver it still works and uh, on that note another piece of prepping advice so to speak I'm not a big antique shop type of person but over the past week I kind of started hitting some up a buddy of mine kind of got me into it well I'll, I'll admit this guys once you start looking around take kitchen appliances not necessarily appliances but kitchen equipment if you use it on a regular basis and it uses electricity chances are there's an older version that doesn't I'm only bringing that up because I did kind of notice the antique shops 
were pretty good places to look for stuff like that. Just as an example, and I'm not saying this is a killer deal, but I ended up buying uh, a Dutch oven. And uh, what did I pay? 45 bucks for a Dutch oven? It's a pretty nice Dutch oven for 45 bucks. I'm not saying it's a steal, but it was cheaper than buying brand new. And I've always wanted a Dutch oven. I've never had one. I thought that would come in pretty handy. And for 45 bucks, I can't really argue. They had a lot of little things, you know, especially knives, uh, hatchets, stuff like that. A lot of that stuff I'm not going to say is a great deal, but I, I suppose it depends on the shop you're walking into. So when it comes to doing antique shop type of stuff, sorry guys, trying to finish my smoke drive home and all of the above but when it comes to that kind of stuff that's the kind of stuff you need to know yourself to an extent of what you're buying when you walk in there if you have an idea of how much you're gonna spend I'm buying this stuff new then you'll know if you're getting a good deal or not right so it does pay to know that stuff I'm not gonna say I'm an expert when it comes to that kind of stuff I might get bit too but in the long run I would say that's kind of a hidden gem that I've found over the past couple weeks that might be something that might help one of you guys out with just getting some simple type of supplies or getting things you might find handy as a prep item and that was the type of place that I never really thought of to look before so if you're in the same boat I hope this helps um, again I know I haven't really put up a whole lot lately uh, before I leave you guys I just want to take a minute to say thank you not only for hitting that like button hitting that play button or any comments that you make but especially to all my subs I don't say this often enough but I would do want to thank you guys I know I'm not the biggest channel in the world but as long as I know somebody's paying attention it makes me know that maybe I ought to keep going so anyway guys as usual, I hope everybody's doing well, and uh, I hope to talk to you again soon. Take care, guys.